My name's Arthur Crutchley. We've been farming here in Dorset for 80 odd years as a family partnership. We've now got 750 cows. They're housed all year round, calve all year round. And we've been using the Alter Cow Watch collars since October 2018. The biggest benefits of having the Cow Watch collars is uh, it's, it's given me a lot more time to actually concentrate on other parts of the business. I can now, I don't have to spend four hours walking the cows, looking for cows that are bulling, and I don't have to spend time looking in the fresh cow pen. I can leave the cows a lot more time to themselves. I don't, I don't believe that I should be walking through them too much because at the same time I don't like people walking through my bedroom. Through doing this I've seen a huge improvement in their performance. It's not just the fertility which has gone up 16%, it's also the milk production's gone up and also the transitioning health's improved massively. So one of the key benefits I've seen from the reproduction with these cow watch collars is that I'm now getting better repro using less hormones. Well, since I came home we were just doing all heat detection by visual. So we were walking them, cows, for four hours a day. We were struggling to raise our preg rates. We were stuck at around 14%. In the year leading up to using these all to cow watch collars, we trialled a pedometer and two different collars. And these were all, these three systems were all running on the same cows. And we saw that the all to cow watch collars had a 16% higher submission rates than the other two products that were available. Before I was struggling to pick up on first time bullers, but now I'm seeing them with the collars and not having to intervene with them with hormones. And we've now raised the preg rates up to 30%. So every morning I have a look at the heat activity so I know which cows I need to AI and then I also importantly check all the health reports. It produces some very good information on eating, rumination and inactivity which I can base my health checks on. So I just go off the health report on the cow watch system and any cow that comes up as a low on eating, rumination or high on inactivity I'll then look at her and give her a health check. The best health benefits these cow watch collars bring is how quickly they pick up on the sick cows. So a mastitis cow will often be detected before her udder changes how hard it is or the, what the colour of the milk is. So toxic E. coli cows will be picked up before, before the watery stage ever comes close to that. And we've actually seen that cows can be milked with their normal quantity of milk, the same quality of milk, and yet when they go back to lie down, they don't actually go and eat. And we've seen that they haven't got up to eat before the next milking. And the cow watch collars have really shown how quickly they can pick up on a sick cow when in the parlour we've been unable to detect it until two milkings later. The best day management changes that I've had are antibiotic usage. So I try to be quite progressive and reduce the amount of antibiotics I use on the farm. And this has really supported these decision making times because if a cow's eating and drinking, I won't, I won't want to give her any antibiotics. So the most healthy benefit of a cow is how much she eats. There's a really good tool on the Cow Watch system which will show me each individual group, how much that group has been eating as an average throughout the day. And if there's been any problems with the feeder wagon, I can then see how much they've eaten the previous day. So this is a good management for me to understand, have they run out of food too early? So I always like to give them 5% to 10% extra feed every day. And if so, then I can speak to the feeder wagon operator to know that he needs to up the, up the feed for that group. Our payback on the old cow watch collars, just purely based on fertility, has been about 10 months. And that's excluding all the health benefits. And where we've saved massively on antibiotic usage, I'm sure it's much quicker than that. I would hate to go back to the days of not having these cow watch collars. If I roll back the years to when I was walking, walking the sheds morning, noon and night, it wasn't, there wasn't much of a life for me when I was 
after supper I'd come up here and spend an hour looking to see who's bullying and I didn't have the results with it so I would massively miss them. I think the old cow watch collars really have to be highly recommended to any farmer. From the benefits I've seen I think I can only wholly support anybody making that decision to buy them.